As I sit here and wait for Windows Update. Oh, God. Aha. Booted into Windows. Yes. So now I can go ahead and shut this down and go ahead and start taking this apart and start moving the parts into there. Let the fun begin. Putting two 140 millimeter thermal tank ring fans in the bottom to blow air straight up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have all the air coming in and going up, and then the two 200 millimeter fans on top are going to exhaust it straight out. So hot air is going to rise and it's going to get blown right on out, which that's the plan. We'll see how well it actually physically works once I get it all put together. So I got it all ran through there, like I was saying, and I tried to put it up there, but I couldn't. So anyway, I just need to kind of finish up running through, and then I need to install the two sensor kits. I got to take Oh yeah, look, here's the, oh, what did I just step on? Sorry. Here's the other build, my uh, UFO engine. I have it on the floor here. It's gutted, but it still has some of its parts in it. The, the motherboard, the CPU, and the cooler are still in there. Um, I do need to get, I need to get this sensor out because the other one's going to go with it. And I don't know what to do with this right now. I think what I'll do is I may do a giveaway and give this beauty away. Or I may just put it back in the box and deal with it on a different day. I don't know. My main concern right now is just getting this, this bad boy up and running. Alright, so I got a little bit further in and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've done so far. Now I got the CPU mounted and the cooler and I got the RAM and then I put the GPU in and then I put the GPU bracket in and I got the fans, the two 140 millimeter fans installed down here and then I put that stock hand cover over it just to do it. Um, I'm currently wiring up the, the two SATA drives. So I'm just doing a quick test boot of the system to make sure that everything is plugged in and lights up and is spinning. I want to make sure that my RGB strips are on, both of them, and they look like they are. Let's see here, that one's on. Yep. Alright, so everything is on. Looks like, how about the power supply light? Yeah, it's on. Okay, and here's the back. I I couldn't figure out where to run the two SSDs, so I just stuck them here. And I'll just have them sitting back there. There really wasn't much cable management in the front here, so I just tried to do it as cleanly as possible. Uh, my next thing to do now is to install the temperature sensor gauge. This is the one out of the UFO engine, and this is the new one that I will be installing. So I installed the two temperature sensor gauges and I'm thinking about just kind of running them right there in the window so they'll have a full display and now the thing I do now is hook them up to the actual board and we'll be good to go. I got it. Boom. I got both sensors installed and I have them in two different spots. One in a very hot area which is directly behind. Basically the sensor is sitting on the heat pipes for the CPU and then I have the other sensor sitting behind the GPU um, in the back part where the sound um, chips are at. And you can already see the difference in the temperature. That would be the CPU readout and that would be the readout coming from up there. But they are working. And start the BIOS.
update and we'll get that going and then I want to make sure everything is in order and then I'm going to start fine tuning everything but before I do that I need to make sure that the BIOS is up to date and then I'll start working on drivers and go from there one thing I didn't think about though is the way that I have all of my cables oriented meaning I'm gonna have to figure out a different way for the case to sit because it's just so big but while I wait for this to take place I'll eat my subway yeah it all figured out and now I am benchmarking the computer to see where we will be at compared to my other computer that was in here before so with that information we're going to go ahead and let the system run and we'll get back to you with the result for most extreme performing computer all the way down to tree trunk being the slowest piece of junk you can find somewhere in between luckily for us we rated around the 70 to 60 percent marking with battleship and battle cruiser with us coming from speedboat this is a test result from the very first ufo engine running the ryzen 3 1200 and 8 gigs of ram with a gtx 1050 ti as you can see the gaming of it is 42 percent desktop is 54 percent and workstation is 35 percent landing me in the speedboat gunboat and sailboat categories find the new results of the stage 2 ufo engine much better results running in at a 75 percent on desktop and a 66 percent on gaming though i did notice for some reason that i am only getting 12 gigabytes of ram instead of my 16 so I will have to look into that and find out why. But yeah, we got about 25% more performance out of this. Hoorah. It's done. I got it completed. What do y'all think? I think it looks cool that's the front end of it and then that's the side of it see I put two fans on the back side and then here's the front of the case a lot of RGB in it guys love the color blue you can see that the two gauges are working in it perfectly lots of room to put more stuff in here is the back side of it and then here's the top so what I had to do is I cut four holes in it and then I went through with a router and I cut all of these out to make them thicker or uh, wider originally it was not I mean it, it was there was no way for the air to escape and I knew that that was going to be a problem so I went ahead and did this and now you put your hand over it and all, man all you feel is air blowing on you so good airflow is key and I'm I'm really happy with the way that the computer came out the overall aesthetics of it just everything you see I put my Republic of Gamers tag on it oh man yeah it looks good that's the front the top the back of it I was just I'm so I'm still very surprised on how big this case is and there it is the new 
UFO engine stage two <laughs> boom make sure to give me a like guys thank you for watching and y'all be cool